Good morning, my dear friends. I am Dr. K. V. Wallace Brownian, retired meteorologist from Chennai. This is my YouTube channel, Bala Vin Kural. Friends who are watching this, if you have not subscribed the channel, kindly subscribe the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the bell icon. You all know that I am in the edit of uh, releasing a series of videos in connection with Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. The topic of the video series is the growth and development of India Meteorological Department. Today we are going to continue with the surface of the rains. So I have a PowerPoint presentation. Let us see that. Surface Observatory, video number two. So we all know that the first surface meteorological observatory was uh, opened at Madras. This is called as Madras Observatory in 1792. Kolaba Observatory in Mumbai was started in 1826. Kolkata Alipur Observatory started in 1829. Even before that, the observatories were there, but the official observatory started in Kolkata Alipur in 1829. Thirunandaburam Observatory in 1836, Simla in 1841. In fact, Simla is having a, a lot of connection with IMD. The Pune office, where we have uh, Deputy Director General of Meteorology, Weather Forecasting, Deputy Director General of Meteorology, Surface Instruments, Additional Director General of Meteorology Research, Deputy Director General of Meteorology Training, all these things are available in Pune. There, that uh, office, which is in Ganeshkin Road, is called as Simla Office. Why? So that is another uh, interesting thing, which we will see in some other video. This uh, another, uh, in 1847, one observatory was opened at Dottapeta, uh, tallest peak in the Nilgiri Seals. But this was decommissioned in 1855. The Bangalore Observatory was started in 1865. 1874, there were 77 observatories in the country. This uh, 77 probably does not include the observatories which were under several provinces, including Madras province. So the old Madras Observatory from 1792, that is not included in this uh, 77. During, uh, by 1877, 21 new stations were created and eight old observatories were closed, reaching the number to 90. So at the, at the time uh, uh, in Gulf also, one uh, bushfire observatory like that, one observatory was uh, opened. In Baluchistan, one observatory was opened, later Rangoon. So uh, the combined British India. So uh, the time of observations in these uh, observatories were at the time of sunrise, noon, 2 p.m., sunset, and 9 p.m. So local time. So this will differ uh, place to place. Then uh, from 1837, they made it as 10 a.m., 4 p.m., and 10 p.m., three of the missions. So around 1880, uh, they uh, realized the importance of having standard instruments and uh, necessary to uh, calibrate the instrument every uh, periodically, every two months or three months, or at least uh, six months in a year. So in 1880, Newman standard parameters were introduced in Madras, Bombay, and uh, Calcutta. So uniformity in exposure of instruments was introduced. Manual of instructions for these things were issued, and it was directed that rain gauges should be installed with the mouth one foot above the ground. So now we are having Stevenson screen in which uh, thermometers are kept, and the thermogram and hygrograms are kept. And uh, before Stevenson screen, this was the arrangement. 
this was uh, this is called as madras hut and uh, kolkata bengal hut where the temperatures are hanged so with the thermometer they never uh, allowed the thermometers to be exposed to direct sun so from here from this arrangement we have come to the stevens hut so now, now i am showing some photographs of the uh, nungabakam surface of the bay so this is the first photograph is showing the uh, the full stevenson screen enclosure with a nice board and each instrument with a name board so the second uh, uh, picture shows the single stevenson screen as well as the double stevenson screen so inside the single stevenson screen we have four thermometers uh, there is a thermometer in the left side vertically uh, hanged that is called as dry bulb thermometer and the right side vertically hanged thermometer is there that is called as the the only difference is the bulb of the wet bulb thermometer is uh, covered with a muslin cloth uh, tied with a uh, thread of uh, bunch of threads and that bunch of thread is inserted in a bottle of distilled water so water will be supplied to the muslin cloth and key will the muslin cloth will be always kept wet so by capillary action water will go through these threads through the to the cloth if the uh, atmosphere is dry the dry air will try to take the moisture Uh, liquids temperature inside the thermometer so there will be a difference between the dry bulb thermometer and the wet bulb thermometer this difference is used to calculate the dew point temperature and the relative humidity so if the difference is more the atmosphere is less humid if the difference is less very very less suppose the temperatures are all is having 100% relative humidity then there are two uh, uh, thermometers hanged horizontally one is the top one is maximum thermometer the bottom one is minimum thermometer <coughs> dry bulb thermometer wet bulb thermometer maximum thermometer all these things are having uh, mercury as the sensing liquid but in the minimum thermometer alcohol is the uh, sensing liquid maximum thermometer is something similar to the physician's thermometer doctor's thermometer so where doctor what he is doing he uses the thermometer keeps it in our mouth to test our uh, body temperature afterwards you will insert a put it in a bottle of catalyzed uh, uh, water so that uh, that will uh, disinfect it is this then he is using what using it for the next person he will take it and will will jerk it because uh, near the mouth there is a construction near the bulb portion there is a construction this expand but will not allow to shrink back to its normal position so this maximum thermometer also of the same type there is a construction this constriction will allow the liquid to expand when the temperature is liquid to come back so it will remain at the position where the maximum temperature has reached so daily morning we have to remove that uh, uh, thermometer from the hook and jerk it like what uh, the doctor used to do then it will come back to its normal position at okay. so the bottom uh, thermometer is a minimum thermometer i said the sensing liquid is alcohol there is an index so this index the alcohol is is having a lower meniscus the others will have upper meniscus and uh, this uh, up, this index will come and uh, hit the uh, lower meniscus and it will not come out of the liquid because of the surface tension of the alcohol so when the temperature is falling the liquid will shrink then the uh, index also will uh, go along with the uh, liquid the index will remain at the same place the position of the index is the minimum temperature recorded at the station then in the double stevenson screen we are having two instruments one is uh, thermograph and another is hygrograph thermograph uh, gives a 24 hours record of uh, humidity so these are all self recording range gauge and ordinary range gauge this is wind instrument one the left side what i have shown is the dyne's pressure tube uh, wind anemometer and the right wind vane so this is the uh, uh, present setup of uh, surface observatory there are some more informations which i will tell the next video thank you good bye